Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Rucker Navala Gore-Tex gloves. They're Rucker's range-topping winter gloves with a Gore-Tex and Outlast membrane and they cost £234.99p. <laughs> So where Rucker once had the Amartra glove, a really popular glove that had been around for a good while, this has replaced it and it's now the Navala, which takes the same name as their top line textile suit. So you've got a jacket, you've got jeans and you've got gloves all under the Navala name now. It's made entirely from leather with one exception, it's a small section of Cordura at the back of the hand here, which just helps with flexibility between the hand and the wrist. Across the rest of the back of the hand, you've got hard knuckle armour here, which is the same carbon knuckle protector used on their Calyx GTX glove. Accordion stretch panels across the top of the fingertips there for flexibility. And then there's a finger bridge here to connect the third and the fourth fingers. Also on the back of the hand, on the, you've got light reflective strips. So there's a pipe across the forefinger there and then a pipe across behind this armour section here, which just helps you stay visible in an oncoming car's headlight beam. And then there's another section here for those people who wear these outside the jacket you'll also get the protection around the wrist area there's an additional accordion stretch panel elasticated section just here at the base of the thumb which is also uh, a real benefit for comfort and then protection wise on the back of the hand around the outside you've got the leather overlay that's one of the most vulnerable impact points on a glove the final thing to mention on the back of the hand is a revised visor wipe blade on the old Imatra gloves it was on the thumb it was quite a hard blade it wasn't the best example of the breed. They've gone to a much more conventional blade, a rubber wipe on the left forefinger, the same type that other glove manufacturers use and this is much more effective in my experience. I'd use that old style one on different Rucker gloves, this one's better. Switching from the back of the hand to the palm, again all leather construction and it's mostly an external stitch around the fingers here. Elsewhere on the palm, a grippy silicon section around the contact point with the grips, which means you're not going to wear through those in a crazy short period of time. You've also got this palm slider here. It's pretty conventional now to see that on a glove. The fastener is pretty standard for a winter glove. It's a wrist restraint there to stop it progressing past the bony bit on the end of your hand. And then a pretty normal Velcro cuff restraint, which gives you enough adjustment to wear these either outside or inside a jacket to your taste. So that's the outside covered. If you look to the inside, it's got twin protection from Gore-Tex and Outlast. Gore-Tex is the waterproof breathable membrane. I'm sure everyone knows about that to keep your hands dry. And then Outlast is uh, more of a, it's a, what they call a phase change material. So there are micro capsules of paraffin in there which store heat. So when you're too hot, it stores it. And then a bit later on when your hand cools down, it's able to release it back to you to keep your nice even temperature. The big thing about these is always going to be the price. It's a $234.99. I'm not going to pretend that you can't get a glove that is really similar to this in performance for considerably less money. You can, but if you want to go for this level, if you want the absolute premium, there's something about this glove that really does perform. They've got premium materials. Gore-Tex and Outlast are as good as you're going to get in the waterproofing and the warmth stakes. The leather is really soft and supple and comfortable and the construction standards are great. The fit is just right. Overall, I've been really impressed with the Navala GTX gloves in the time that I've spent with them. They've kept me warm, they've kept me dry in some really quite horrible conditions. And also they're not crazy sticky when it starts to get a bit too warm, which suggests that the Outlast is doing its job and taking the heat away from the skin. Hopefully that's covered everything you need to know about the Rucker Navala GTX gloves. But if there's anything you feel we've missed, then just pop a question in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can on that. But otherwise, thanks for watching.